all of you would have seen this venn diagram in school i'll call this as land this as water this as air part of land air water which supports life is bio part of land water air that supports life is called as biosphere okay this word is biosphere so the surface of the earth on which we are living is lithosphere so lithosphere is the outermost hard shell of the earth what is lithosphere outermost hard shell of the earth please remember this lithosphere first word okay atmosphere we study a topic called troposphere the first layer of the atmosphere is called as troposphere please write troposphere is the first layer of the atmosphere every second we are breathing in air ala comes from which layer troposphere ha ah. tropo please write first layer of the atmosphere first layer of the atmosphere troposphere is found where just above the earth surface so every second of our life we are breathing in breathing out from which layer troposphere so most important layer of the atmosphere is troposphere okay so first one troposphere so air we study in troposphere okay so it's not more definition you write troposphere is the first layer of the atmosphere then what is atmosphere i'll also write thin blanket of air is atmosphere thin blanket of air is called as atmosphere okay thin blanket of air so now you will you might ask sir what is air air is mixture of gases mixture of gases is air why is this board uh, kind of shaking ala i am able to see it moving like this ah okay air is mixture of gases clear now one by word word by word by word i am going water is what h2o dihydrogen oxide water is dihydrogen oxide two hydrogen atom and one oxygen atom all the water on the earth we study under the topic hydrosphere hydro all the water on earth comes under the word all the water on earth comes under the word hydrosphere hydrosphere okay please remember land water air part of all these three which support life is called as biosphere biosphere okay we are all part of biosphere together see this entire topic is our ecosphere all these are part of our environment ecosphere in your ncert if you read this 6 standard ncert they have given this five spheres lithosphere hydrosphere troposphere ecosphere biosphere like this five spheres they have given okay five spheres like this they have given lithosphere hydrosphere troposphere or atmosphere ecosphere biosphere clear like this one one by one i am mentioning it mentioning the topic so that you will come to know okay this is physical geography all this is physical geography okay there are certain words i'll introduce now one by one like part of water which is frozen is cryosphere 
cryosphere is the regions on earth with sub zero temperature what is sub zero temperature is below zero there are certain places on earth where the temperature is below zero where the water is frozen in the form of ice like arctic antarctic region himalayas they are all frozen covered with snow they are called as cryo have you heard of this word cryogenic engine cryogenic engine technology in uh, rockets we use gslv rocket we use that word cryo cryogen please right cryosphere all right regions which experience sub zero temperature what is sub zero below zero throughout the year sub zero temperature are known as cryosphere cryo so so many words i am giving you today okay one by one definition you should have one one line definition for everything because when you go home you need have some notes ala to read to revise ha huh. so cryosphere example example right example arctic antarctic himalayas or mountains i'll use the word alpine upper part of the mountains covered with snow is called as alpine upper part of the mountains covered with snow like himalayas are called as what alpine okay mountains which are under snow cover are called as alpine so first few classes are basically vocabulary class words you are getting introduced in geography okay so what i am going to do today after this i'll show you the syllabus i'll go one by one terms related to land i'll cover first round then water then air this week and all i'll be doing the same along with some map we'll cover so till now it's clear what is cryosphere all of you know one more word i'll introduce i'll write uh, here here i'll write i don't have space i'll write here pedosphere pedosphere what is pedon means soil the word pedon means soil this board is about to fall i guess pedon means soil on the earth surface we have what soil so part of the lithosphere upper part of the lithosphere where we have weathered rock where we have soil is called as pedosphere the word pedo comes from pedon in greek means soil the soil we have outside is pedon pedology have you heard of the word pedology what is pedology study of soil ah uh, study of soil so that also you write bracket me pedology pedology see initially you might find it difficult the subject is like that correct every subject when you start uh, reading you will have that difficulty but you have to slowly think okay i am learning something new because i have seen students initially they will be like having joshua ias banenge ips and all but after 3 4 months they will give up so you should not lose that you should motivate yourself okay that is the challenge here with the classes so the student strength gradually declines and after 6 months in everywhere like in delhi also here also so i am telling you no only because all these subjects are very difficult initially but when you have patience you will learn okay so you should develop that no only whenever you are reading something you should say okay i am learning something new so this subject is going to become easy for me if you think in your mind it will be easy if you start thinking are this is very difficult subject i will not be able to understand then it will become even more difficult it's always with the attitude okay so don't forget pedo pedo means soil pedosphere so it is part of what land so i am writing here clear to all so like this so many words are there related to surface 